Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. As you can tell, this is a favorites video and these are things that I've really enjoyed the past few weeks. A couple of things are brand new that I bought for my trip and they're so cool so I want to talk about them. Obviously, I haven't had the chance to actually use them but they are so worth talking about. Anyway, the first item is silk. So because we are staying home a lot, the best way to pamper ourselves is to sleep on silk, which I already am. Uh, I'm a big fan of silk pillowcases, silk sheets, silk clothing. If you've been following me, you know that I'm a big fan of silk. And this is a new company that reached out to me and they sent me a sample of their pillowcase. The one that I have has a zipper closure and this is the company that sent it to me. I took it out of my pillow just to show you how it looks like. So this one side is silk and then on the other side is a cotton, which is actually good because I always get confused which side I slept on and at least that allows me to switch sides if I haven't had the chance to wash my pillowcase right away. They've also sent me a box of their scrunchies. Silk scrunchies are great because they really don't pull your hair and if you choose a neutral color like maybe not pink but if you choose like a black or like a white then you can even wear it out because i mean it's it is the trend now so i mean how cute it is right a little scrunchy you can even wear it when you go to go to bed i know some people who have a lot of hair and they want to like not mess it up when they wake up and or not get it all tangled up they can also tie their hair up and then sleep in a bun or something like that you can easily also wear it on your wrist if you're on the go and they are the thinner kind of like less bulky scrunchies which i actually kind of prefer uh, just because it just gives you a little discreet scrunch scrunchy look um, but uh, yeah i think these are pretty modern and they're really cool i would definitely grab more colors because i think if you get it in a neutral color you can wear it out and it's really cute the second item that i've been really enjoying at home is a portable usb fan let me show you the box that it came with so you can buy this on amazon i'll link it down below obviously everything that i talk about will be linked down below for your convenience so this is the little fan that came uh, in this box so it comes in two different colors and i have it in the white color and it's so cute it's actually a bigger size fan than all the other portable fans that i have and i love having these around the house just because sometimes it just gets too hot we don't have ac here in vancouver our summers are usually not super super hot so a lot of our houses here in bc don't have ac units so a portable fan is actually so important because it's a space saver and i love that this one is usb powered so anywhere you have i'm pretty sure we all have some sort of you know outlet from you know our phone devices like chargers from our phones or whatever you can easily plug it in or at your office you probably have a usb cable somewhere that you can hook up onto your computer i do like that this one you have this uh control where you can control the intensity of the fan so uh you can go all the way obviously to the maximum and then you can also adjust the angle so you can uh, face it up so let me try to show you from the side there you go so you can adjust the angle slightly just from moving the fan like that i don't know if you follow me on instagram but i posted a video of our kitchen getting flooded and we've been so busy since we've had to move everything out of the kitchen wash everything dust everything off we've been doing that every single day because right now our ceiling and floor is completely destroyed and there's a big hole on the ceiling we're still drying everything out so all the dust is flying off every single day there's new dust so we've been working really hard physically in our home nonetheless and so when i need to take a break i need to turn this on and plus it's also great to have it by your vanity or by your office like i said just something really portable that you can use at any time even on your vanity when you're drying off your skincare or your uh, makeup it's super handy to have this the next thing i wanted to show you comes in this box so i have it in two different colors like i said earlier i have a few accessories i was planning to use during our hawaii trip that of course is getting cancelled the airline just automatically cancelled our flight um the hotel we were still dealing with that because it was non-refundable but regardless it's a tech pouch so let me show you the inside of the box 
So you can see from just this illustration how cool you can organize all your tech accessories. So we're talking about mouses, chargers, tripods if it's a small one, cables, USB keys, SD cards, anything that you can possibly need while you're traveling tech-wise. Instead of having them like kind of disperse around your bags and you can't find them. The organization that you can get from a pouch like this, which is so compact, is amazing. First of all, there's two little pockets, so let me go through them. So this one opens up like this. You can put cables whatsoever in it. Uh, you know, the large cables that you can coil around. And then this fabric in the middle is actually expandable. As you can see, it's stretchy. So you don't have to worry about not being able to fit it. And then on the other compartment, this one I think opens up a little wider. You have all these little slots that you can utilize. On both sides of the pouch, you've got the uh, flexible fabric in the middle so it's really well designed i was so looking forward to using this obviously we're no longer going on our trip but regardless i'm sure that i'm gonna get a lot of use out of these and so i got a burgundy one for myself and a black one for my husband Similarly, I have also this from the same company. This is from the company Side by Side, by the way. They are also on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, so this comes as a set in this packaging, and I've already opened it. I won't open this one, but I'll show you exactly what it comes with. Plastic envelope that you can literally put anything in it, documents if you want, or anything that you don't want to lose, but you want to have easy access or easy sort of uh, organization. Two other smaller ones that you can put cards or whatever ex like little things that you might have. And then you also have a bunch of these other ones with a zipper closure and it's also a clear pouch. So you got one, two, three, four, five in each set. So five of these, two of these Ziploc ones, which are roughly the same size, just a little smaller. And then you've got this original larger pouch. So these pouches are great for organizations when you travel or just whatever. You can even use it in your office. But what I love about it, it's the other accessories inside as well. On the inside, you have RFID pocket. So this bigger one is great for your passport. It will help prevent your um, identity or your, you know, financial, you know, your credit card or whatever information being stolen remotely because uh, it happens so this is great for your passport and then these are great for you know your credit cards especially the ones that have chips inside your debit cards or even your driver's license whatever you feel like it needs to be protected it will block the signals from being transmitted so you've got five of these little ones for cards and then one for your passport in each set you also have one of these little tags one of the coolest things that you always need when you travel is a pin to change your sim card of your cell phone so I love that they already included that and that you always can put it back in this pouch and then inside your maybe your tech pouch such as this one that I just showed you and just have everything at a glance so you can put your sim cards here your SD cards here and then you have actually your SD card here and then these are for different size sim cards this is a clothing rack that I got from Amazon but I'm sure there's different alternatives of it um, but this one I love because it's so robust it's made of all stainless steel I'm gonna show you a cutaway of exactly how I've started using it so I have my larger bags that I don't quite reach for as as often on top so you have my speedy my never falls my Celine bag all on top of course, I have all my clothes on the rack, so let's talk about it later. And then on the bottom, I have a bunch of things and I'm still in the process of cleaning up. But basically, I have shoe boxes, I have more bags, and they are heavier, just things that I kind of reach for a little bit more often, so I put it on the bottom. And then, of course, with the clothing rack, it's meant to be two different levels. So you have the top rack and then you have the middle rack. And I think it's supposed to be for like tops on the top and then bottoms, like pants on the bottom but my clothes are really long and i have a lot of clothes that i need to hang and plus i do work with limited space in my condo so i've decided to put them side by side just on each side and have two racks of the same length so that i have things that are really long such as my coats and my dresses it's not ideal because technically there's not really enough space to have two sets of clothes 
uh, hung together but I make it work you know I just angle it a little bit and then this one I also angle it a little bit so you can have clothes hung like this and I also separate it into different seasons I love that it's so robust that's the main reason why I chose this one because it supports up to 400 pounds of items on this rack which is amazing because the other one that I have from Ikea it just completely skewed to the side even on the first day that I installed it so it's kind of sad uh, but this one has been holding up so well I've had it since I want to say I've had it since um, December um, put it together in January so I've been having it and using it ever since and I love the fact that I have two rolls of clothing and there's lots of clothing on it so the ability to switch different seasons clothes back and forth is also a great way for you to kind of declutter every new season so every time you go through your entire row of clothes you can put it on your bed you can kind of sift through things that you want to donate consign or that doesn't fit anymore and then put the new stuff in the in the in in the front and then the you know the winter season in the back and then back and forth every I guess every warm season and cold season for me so it works out really well I highly recommend it especially if you work with limited space or just want something a little bit more robust that supports real weight not something like from Ikea that just falls apart and plus it wasn't that expensive so I highly recommend it it's from Amazon I'll pan down and then I'll explain exactly what's going on here it's still kind of a mess because I'm in, still in the middle of organizing everything but on the bottom I have um, some shoe boxes I have some larger heavier bags and then of course right in the middle you see I have two sets of racks and I've just put them all on top even though you're supposed to put one on top and one on the bottom uh, or one in the middle but I just use them all on top because I wanted to be able to hang all my longer clothes on both of them kind of effectively giving me double the space and so as you can see on the this rack here which is the one behind I have all my summer dresses which of course I cannot wear at this moment because it's still kind of too cold but because they are tucked away on the inside against the wall I can't really see them anyway and it's fine because I, I can't even wear them anyway so the front is where all my winter coats are at the moment as well as some um, you know these are my ball man jacket and then I have uh, you know all my shirts and uh, things that I can still wear during the season A hanger with all my belts I have some designer belts there and then in the middle right here there's this bar where you're supposed to put your middle um, hanging bar but I just put it all on top on either side of you can argue that it's not super ideal and it's kind of annoying if you want to reach for one thing in the back but technically because I separated it into two different seasons so this is like cold season warm season and then you can just switch it uh, when it comes time to change out your wardrobes the beginning of summer I can remove all of this and then move all of this back in summer clothes to the front and then all this to the back and then I can do that every six months that way I can also go through all my clothes and I will be able to declutter more or consign more if I find anything that uh, doesn't fit anymore or that I don't like anymore I really like this little rack here and as you can see I'm working with just this much space which you know you would think that it's a lot but um, yes this is a closet but uh, it's not enough when you have a lot of clothes and both me and my husband both have lots of clothes so this is the system that I have right now and I love this thing it's worth every single penny this rack here every single penny I've been really into pearls lately um, in my past videos I've been wearing a lot of pearls and of course my latest Chanel haul I got myself my first pearl necklace and even though I'm not really wearing it anywhere because I'm only wearing it at home obviously because we all have to stay home it's still one of my favorites it's one of those items where I knew the moment I saw it and then mute and I knew the moment I brought it home that I just wanted to keep going back and reaching for it I love that this one has this really nice charm on it and then the pearls are kind of dispersed not too too 
uh, close together. There's some different size ones and just a really pretty dainty item. The price of this one was pretty good. Obviously, it's just costume jewelry, but Chanel is always going to be Chanel. It will always make your heart sing, at least in my case. And I feel like I finally found the perfect pearl necklace that I can always rely on when I need something to really uh, bring up the outfit. So by the way, I hope that you guys can hear me well. I know that there's a little buzzing noise in the background because we're having a lot of restorations and fans on in our kitchen right now. The, the guys are on um, Friday Easter break, but we still have a lot of fans on to dry up the drywall and the floors. So sorry about that. So the next pearl item that I love is the ring that I'm wearing right now. I've also shown you this ring in a few of my videos. I always talk about my outfit. So this is a really pretty ring with a little pearl dangling detail and a bow that has crystals on it. Sterling silver, so it is a fine jewelry, I suppose, except that the pearl is faux pearl. It just adds a little bit of extra bit of uh, pearl detail on your fingers and it's so delicate looking. It's so pretty. I got it in a size four and a half, US four and a half for my ring finger. And uh, I highly recommend it, especially for your ring finger. I think it's so delicate. It looks so good. I could, I would imagine it would look pretty good on your index as well or on any finger to be honest, but uh, so, so pretty. I've been loving this. My last two favorites are Chanel items as well. And um, I mean, these earrings and then this bag the chain of this bag really goes together i don't think they're meant to be but it just so happens uh these earrings are just so amazing i'm just so glad that i was able to get my hands on it obviously these were not if you've watched my unboxing these were not offered in canada so i've had to source them from the usa and i'm so glad that i made the extra effort to do so because i am so in love with them they're very very statement uh very like a uh, like a real gold color not the champagne one like a real yellow gold just a great statement for you know like long hair short hair it doesn't really matter it's very chunky chain on the on the top with the big cc on the bottom uh no stones i know a lot of you love that and i love the fact that it matches my 19 bag even though like i said we've been staying home but i did use my 19 bag a little bit more i think during the beginning of march when it was not quite the official stay home order yet and I just love it I mean I know that this is still a, I guess seen as a trendy bag but it is a permanent style from Chanel so I do recommend it I mean personally I I love it because I love the style I think it goes well with what I wear I think it's easy for me to pair it it's definitely a little bit more on the grungier edgier side rather than the classic demure side so i like both you know i i can be both and on a regular basis i'm kind of more grungy and casual anyway uh like i mentioned many times before so i am a really big fan of this bag i love that this lambskin is so soft but durable i love the back pocket even though i only use it for like to slip like little things in it like receipts and things like that and um, I just love how slouchy it can be or you can also structure it with uh, with an organizer which I do recommend especially for storage and especially if you have the larger versions the larger versions really do need the organizer inside especially a custom one would be good mine is in a small size so it's not technically necessary to have it but i still think it's good for the long term these are truly things that i've been enjoying lately and that i was planning to use and that i was so excited to use but obviously everything now is postponed so anyway thank you so much for watching if you're brand new to my channel i would love to have you back please do consider subscribing please 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 stay safe and please stay home you guys are doing great do not despair i know it's difficult but we're all in this together so hopefully we can all get through this really really quickly uh, obviously there's no timeline no eta at all but we take it a day by a time right we can either choose to be positive to see a silver lining and to 
just do our best or we can choose to be negative and to complain about it all the time and be unhappy all the time it's your choice right so at the end of the day you have control on certain things you have control on how you feel you don't have control about going out and you know about the virus i suppose but you have control on how you feel and how you behave about it anyway a little spiel about this thank you so much have a great day or week ahead of you and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye